Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the myosis to karyokinesis portion. So in karyokinesis 2, what will happen? The nucleus or the nuclear part of the cells is going to divide. So let us see what are the different activities a cell is performing during karyokinesis 2 of myosis 2. After the process of interkinesis, which is a small pause which may or may not happen between myosis 1 and myosis 2, this is followed by the karyokinesis 2. Now it involves the separation of two chromatids. So we have seen initially in myosis 1, the homologous pairs has been separated. Now this is going to involve the separation of the sister chromatids. This involves the movement of separated chromosomes into separate cells. So the chromosomes are going to separate into different cells. This phase of karyokinesis is divided into four phases, prophase 2, metaphase 2, anaphase 2 and telophase 2. So these are similar than that of uh, the mitosis which we have already discussed and also myosis which we have already discussed. So the first phase is the prophase 2. In prophase 2, this is for uh, this actually involves the formation of asters. So we know what are asters. So from the centrioles what happens? The microtubular protein structures are formed which is actually going to help in the segregation of the sister chromatids or the chromosomes. So these asters are formed which is going to uh, attach with the centromere position of the centri of the chromosomes. The disappearance of the nuclear membrane and the nucleolus. So this is similar activity which was being performed during the mit mitosis also. It also shows the condensation of the chromatin fibers into definite chromosomes. So after at the end of myosis 1, the chromosomes, the DNA was present as the DNA network. So again what happens? The condensation of the chromosomes happen in order to attain proper chromosomal like structures. So after prophase 2, it comes the metaphase 2. In metaphase 2, similarly the arrangement of chromosomes in the equatorial plate. So as you can see, these uh, chromosomes has been arranged in the central position of the cell which is the equatorial plate. Now these each chromosomes is joined by two chromosomal fibers. So each of these chromosomes from the centromeres, it is joined by two fibers coming from the opposite poles. The third phase is the anaphase 2. So here what will happen? The separation of the sister chromatids is going to happen. Initially in masses 1, we have seen the separation of homologous chromosomes. But the difference here is the, so here the separation of sister chromatids is going to take place. So here splitting of the centromeres is going to uh, occur. It results in the formation of two daughter chromosomes because the sister chromatids has been separated. This uh, also shows the movement of daughter chromosomes towards the poles. So since because of the process of depolymerization of the spindle fibers, what happens? So these are pulled towards the opposite poles. So the last phase is the telophase 2. Here what will happen? The formation of daughter nucleus. So initially what we have seen that the sister chromatids, they have tried to move towards the poles. So here out of this, uh, on the outer membrane, the nuclear membrane is going to develop, the nucleolus is going to develop and the spindle fibers, they are going to dissolve into the cytoplasm. So slowly the cytokinesis is going to happen after uh, this along with this telophase 2. So in this video, we have talked about myosis 2 and we have talked about the four different phases uh, about myosis 2. We have talked about the detailed activities a cell is performing during these four phases, namely the prophase 2, metaphase 2, anaphase 2 and the telophase 2. I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.